Welcome to the second of the Armour introductory videos. The Art of Reading in the Middle Ages project has enriched the Europeana portal with thousands of digitised medieval manuscripts. In fact, there are now so many items that it is sometimes difficult to find what you are looking for. In this video, we will show you how to browse for medieval manuscripts in Europeana and show some tips and tricks for searching medieval manuscripts in more detail. If you appreciate a quick overview of the available content, use the feature page Middle Ages. The section Manuscripts per Century at the bottom of the page contains links to subsets of digital objects. Browse, for instance, the subset 15th Century Manuscripts, which contains over 15,000 items. You will need the Filter options on the right-hand side to limit your results to a manageable size. The database will only show the first thousand items of each subset, asking you to refine your search. Important filters are Institution and Type of Media, best to be used in combination. Media type Image refers to items with just one image of a manuscript, mostly an illuminated page. As the first results clearly show, several one-image items can pertain to just one manuscript. Some institutions, however, label their one-image items with mediatype text. It is this kind of contradictory use of metadata standards that the Armour project hopes to help prevent in future database ingests. Anyhow, it is clear that the number of 15th century manuscripts in the database is much less than 15,000. We go back to the feature page Middle Ages and scroll downwards to the section Discover Manuscript Collections. Let's click on the button See More Medieval Manuscripts below the section. This action generates a set of over 34,000 completely digitised medieval manuscripts and fragments. They were either newly ingested or greatly improved thanks to the Armour project. The set is created by the query what? Reading Culture Medieval. Don't forget the colon and round brackets. Let's now refine the search to go deeper in this set. The best way to do it is to add context to the query in the search bar using the terms who, what, where and when. For instance, let's search for manuscripts with text from Cicero, made in 15th century Italy. Type in the search bar what reading culture, medieval and manuscript, and who, Cicero, and when, 15th century and where, Italy. Don't forget the columns and round brackets. Searching for 15th century manuscripts, reduce this query to what, reading culture, medieval and manuscript, and when, 15th century. Don't forget the columns and round brackets. The Armour project included manuscripts from the first half of the 16th century. Printed matter up to 1550 is also included. And medieval coins likewise. For more information on search strings and wildcards, use the Help link at the bottom of the web page. Then choose How to search the collections. Back to the manuscripts. When you have found the item you are looking for, say, one of the Cicero manuscripts from 15th century Italy, you can view it in more detail. Most manuscripts in Europeana can be viewed directly via the Mirador viewer. This viewer makes it easy to navigate through the manuscript and zoom in on details. Below the viewer, you can find the metadata, some general information on the manuscript right below the viewer, and under the heading Good to Know. More information on the manuscripts can be found on All Metadata. You can also take a look at the manuscript in the repository of the providing institution by clicking on the institution's name. The descriptions facilitate finding similar items in Europeana. They contain a separate section, Collections You Might Like, or click on the links in All Metadata, such as Illuminated Manuscript, to find other collections to explore further. With the metadata, you can make some really precise queries. You can also find this Cicero manuscript held by Leiden University Libraries more directly. Use its shelf mark, 
BPL11A in a query on identifier with the following syntax. Don't forget the underscores and quotation marks. See, for more professional information on using search strings, the Europeana Pro website. Do you want to know more about the Middle Ages in Europeana? Take a look at the first Armour introductory video, The Art of Reading in the Middle Ages, Introduction to the Project.